Uh, yeah, Mary Kay, I'm, kind of, I'm more so in the focusing in, in the moment, really. But like I've told you, uh, and, and we're excited about Jacoby and, and have a ton of trust in Jacoby. Uh, and, and when Deshaun is ready, we'll, he'll rejoin the team. Will he play this Sunday? He will not play. Let me ask them, why is he practicing so much this week? Yeah, I think part of it, Tony, is, is making sure that we get a lot of work for Jacoby, for Deshaun, because eventually he will be playing. Uh, and we want to get a good look at uh, some of our scheme versus another scheme, if you will. Uh, but ultimately, as we transition out of this week, uh, Jacoby will get uh, really all of the reps. Some players came here just to play with Deshaun Watson, So how do you handle now that you know what the yeah, I understand. Yeah, I understand the question, Mary Kay. I would tell you, uh, this is a team. The guys have trust in each other, uh, and, and I know they have trust in Jacoby. Uh, but but ultimately, this is uh, the, the best team game there is. Yeah, and you've said you're, you're comfortable, you're confident in Jacoby. Now that you know it's 11 games, how confident and comfortable are you with Jacoby as your quarterback for 11 games? Yeah, uh, same. <laughs> I think. Uh, been around him for now since April, watching him practice. Uh, we're confident in his abilities. What was your reaction when he got the closure? It will be 11 games. What was your reaction when he got that news? Uh, yeah, I think all along, Daryl, I've kind of made sure that I kept any of those type of news at bay and just was awaiting the, the, the final word so then I could make sure we have a, a plan in place. So uh, we're pretty comfortable with how we're operating right now, uh, knowing that we'll get Deshaun back uh, after 11 games. Yeah, I, mean, I think this gives a sense of clarity not just for you and Deshaun, but for the team in general. Do you anticipating a difference in how they respond or maybe a weight off their shoulders? Saturday? Yeah, I think you know that's something we've talked about. I know you guys have asked that, and it's a fair question. I, I do think our players do a really nice job on focusing on the things that they can control, and that's what we'll continue to do. I wouldn't get specifically into what we've talked about, but you're absolutely right. I mean, in any um, situation, there's always an opportunity to, to make the best of it. And I think this is an opportunity, and I think Dee uh, spoke about that. I know she, Dee's committed to it. The Hazen family's committed to that. Uh, and I know I am, uh, as a head coach of this team, committed to bettering every single one of our players, uh, if we can, and coaches included. Kevin, now that there's some resolution to this, you know, what is your message to the fans out there talk to a lot of them uh, just in our daily lives that feel upset that they can't root for this team right now based on uh, the trade that you guys made. Yeah, Jake, I, I understand the question, and that's something that uh, we talked about uh, when we first acquired Deshaun. I will tell you, I think the support from our fans has been unbelievable, uh, not just out here at practice. I think throughout the community and my interactions with them, it's, it's been uh, They've been very, very supportive. Uh, I'm respectful of people that may feel differently. I, I am. Uh, I understand that. Uh, but I'm just going to continue to play my part in making sure that uh, they have a team that they're proud of. On the, on the subject of playing your part, what will your role be? The Haslam's did, Andrew Berry did speak about going forward uh, with Deshaun and uh, the opportunity for him to rehabilitate. Those are their words, not mine. So what will your role be with Deshaun as far as maybe some of the off the field uh, type of things to help him move forward and, and yeah. become a better person? Yeah, there I think for all of our players, uh, I want myself, I want all of our coaches to be people that help them in their career to be a better football player, but it's our job to make them the best version of themselves as well. So that's something that, that's what we do as coaches. Uh, when you have your position meeting room, th those are your guys. When you're a coordinator, you have the offense and the defense that are special teams. And my role is to make sure that for all 85 guys on the roster that I'm providing anything that they need to make sure that they're getting the best out of themselves. Kevin, do you think you did enough uh, as a team, as an organization, to sort of build up some leadership chips with Deshaun and the team? Get enough, you know, reps and time that when he goes away and he comes back, 
think he'll be able to keep it Yeah, I, I'm really comfortable, Mary Kay, with, with our plan and how we've uh, operated uh, with the uncertainty. Uh, but now that we have certainty, I, I feel good about where we are. Uh, I feel good about getting those guys ready to play because ultimately, like you mentioned, uh, when Deshaun is back and ready to play, uh, we're excited about that opportunity for him. Uh, but there was a lot of work that needs to go in prior to uh, September 1st. And options available to you until August 30th. Will his workload decrease significantly from this point? In the practices, yes, in the repetitions of practice, but not in what he's doing here in the building. So more working off to the side uh, than taking uh, the reps per se. I know Gavin, you know, we always saw, uh, we, we've seen Jacoby, of course, out there a lot. Talk about what kind of leader he is in the locker room, in the meeting room. How's that? Yeah, Jacoby, as you guys get to know him better, and, and I'm, I'm getting to know Jacoby as well, but I think back to when we were acquiring Jacoby, just the phone calls that I made to people that he's played for, people that he's played with, uh, it was very, very consistent in that you're getting a pro's pro, somebody who's going to lead from out in front, uh, works very hard at his craft, and is just an outstanding teammate. Kevin, I know before you talked about having different plans based on the severity of a possible suspension. I guess like this is happening later in training camp now that there's a final resolution. But do you have to change course at all now to one of those other plans, or are you kind of able to keep doing what you were planning on doing like this week? And yeah, it's forward? a good question, actually. So. I would tell you, yes, we've pivoted at, at times in, in this, try, trying our, my best and our best to, to, to understand what ultimately the ruling may be. Uh, but where we are is, is really where we wanted to be in terms of the number of reps that we've gotten, uh, all of our guys. And, and uh, I think that's inclusive of uh, Josh Dives and Josh Rosen. Do you know when's the exact date Sean can come back? Is it halfway through the suspension? I, I don't. Like week five or six? Do I'm not sure. I don't know. And do you expect him to play in the final for he will not. Yeah. Can you be in communication with him uh, during the suspension? You are ADP. Or I will obviously. I'll look over those rules when that occurs. I, I don't think so, Jeff. But uh, I'll make sure when it's time that we're in full compliance. Can you vouch for his character? How today he said, "I continue to stand on my feet." Is that how you feel about Sean? Is he still Yeah, I, I think Mary Kay. I would. I'm going to let Deshaun speak for himself. I could just tell you from my interactions with him, from uh, the time he's walked into this building, I've spent a lot of time with him uh, on the field, in the meeting room, outside of normal you know, practice settings. Uh, and I know that he is someone that is committed to growing as a person. When the trade was completed, did you ever envision it would happen for 11 I think, Tony, we kind of went into it understanding that there uh, was potential to a suspension, but uh, I wouldn't get into, uh, you know, ultimately where our thought process was. We understood that it was a possibility. Kevin, you talk about Last yourself being a better person in the organization the program being rewardful, I think you can do it. Um, then he says he's completely innocent. Do you have a hard time kind of reconciling this? Yeah, I think, Scott, again, I'm going to let him speak for himself. Uh, and again, with all of our players, I've been pretty consistent in, in telling you guys that conversations that I have with them and those type of things, I, I keep internal. Miles here today? He is not, but expect him back soon. Okay, Thank thanks, guys. Baby.